And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. And I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. My name is Derek Ray. And sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Moutinho. Wonderful chance. Terrific save. Throw in for Wolves here. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well read to ease the pressure. So for Wolves, it was even Steven in the last game. A draw against Aston Villa. What do you expect this time, Stuart? Well, that one-all draw at home wasn't really the result they wanted. Today, they just need to play with a bit more freedom. And if they can do that, they'll win this one. An offside by the merest of margins. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass. Oh, and... hang on, Stuart, big chance here. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Martin Erdegaard and promising stuff from Arsenal. Chance to cross. Partey. Intercepting it intelligently. Wang Hee Chan. Well, as you can see, Wolves are seeing much less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. How can they open up the defence here? Moutinho, an alert piece of defending. And just hearing, ball in the net at Stamford Bridge. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Villa. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching Oh, jumping that. in. They're in a great position here. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And they've given him too much space. Zaka! Couldn't grab hold of it. And Kessia. Can they square the game? Oh, he saved it well. The every draw level here. The crowd certainly thinks so. Well, the corner played into the box. And there we have it. The second half underway. Wolves are quitting themselves well, but still work to do. He has teammates around him. Raul Jimenez. is happy the bar was there and intercepted there 
Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. That's well blocked. Well, a change to the scoreline I'm hearing in the Southampton game. And Alex Scott has the details. Yep, it's a second goal for Leicester City. They've pulled one back with 49 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And stuffing out the danger. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave him the lead, but his general play was really good. He's a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Martin Odegaard showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Neto. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ruben Neves. Neves. He's got to score! And fine goalkeeping. Well, I believe there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Chelsea. They're now behind by one with 74 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Johnny. And successfully cut out. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Crystal Palace. Xhaka, well, able to close down the shot. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. Johnny. And very deftly cut out. Well, still time for them to level it. 